Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of the awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, our culture, our background or whatever interests you. But today I have decided I will share with you a very, very, very brief trip that I had to leave, so I did not even manage to record my greetings there. But um, there are still things that I managed to film and I want to show you. Maybe you have noticed I'm not very much into traveling these days due to war and some other family things. But in my normal life, I adore traveling and it doesn't matter if it's, uh, I don't know, traveling abroad or traveling inside country or even traveling to the other district of uh, the city. I always enjoy discovering something new. And Lviv is one of the most famous tourist attractions of Ukraine. It attracts many, many tourists, millions of them. Actually, it has an international airport that works uh, when we don't have war, you know. It is a very tasty gastronomic capital and sometimes it's considered in general the cultural capital of Ukraine and uh, there are lots of concerts, lots of museums, lots of beautiful hotels, many historical buildings. It looks very European. Let me know, have you ever been to Lviv? Have you heard something about Lviv? And would you like to visit it in future? I enjoyed my stay there and uh, the first thing that I want to show you is, is an exhibition. Please forgive if the sound is not perfect because I was filming outside with my earphones and my telephone, no specific equipment. But it shows the Russian tanks that were burnt in Ukraine and they were brought to stand in the center of Lviv so that people could see. And it's always pleasant to see burnt Russian um, cars. Okay, this is an exhibition in the center of Lviv where they have brought Russian tanks so that people can touch them and see them. Honestly, I thought they are a little bit larger than they are. Do you want to look inside? I do. Personally, I cannot tell you I like it, but looking how destructive they are, how burned they are, I definitely feel much better. This is a kind of exhibition. Hope you enjoyed it and I honestly was surprised that these tanks and other cars, they are not that big as I thought they are. Uh, but of course you have this very unpleasant feeling when you see it and burn and standing they look much better than working and driving close to your capital or whatever anyway for me war is something i totally do not understand this is something so medieval so raw so stupid and looking at this uh, pieces of iron i do not realize why on earth we still need them uh, the next uh, passage that I want to show you is one of the central parts of Lviv. Actually, it's close to the Opera House, which is a very famous building. It's interesting from the architectural point of view with fountains and a very long pedestrian alley where lots of people walk, read, listen to music and play chess. There are lots of people who play chess there and a recording of uh, I have included also a recording of a band that plays pretty well and if you recognize they play one of the Go A um, hits that was actually on Eurovision and uh, helped Ukraine win it last year, not this year. So uh, here is that uh, passage and it ends with a fountain and children playing and for me it was quite emotional because in many many locations of Ukraine children are not only playing could not only they don't have a possibility to play to enjoy water sun they are hidden in shelters and some of them are dead and even not buried as in mariupol 
So it is a true tragedy and this contrast I wanted to show you some normality and I'm not very much into fun, children and things like that but in Lviv I could not like uh, stop watching them, understanding them and enjoying all that. I'm sorry I'm sitting that way <laughs> and uh, the final video is not very uh, serious you know uh, it is a car it advertises a bar or something but it is Rehuli if I'm not mistaken a very typical Sovak car and it is all covered with cheap carpet and carpet is such a bad thing I hate them because like I don't hate those that are I don't know Persian are specific natural beautiful I don't like that in back in Soviet times everywhere in all the houses including my grandparents my own house they not only had carpets on the floors they also had carpets on the walls and they are perfect dust collectors and we had to catch moss or something that lived there and it well, there is a joke by the way and I like this joke um, that modern children they need iPhone for entertainment and in our, back in our times it was enough for us just to watch a carpet and its ornaments and you could like fall asleep imagining <laughs> these ornaments I don't know events that take place on your carpet but anyway carpet was a very important element of uh, life and it was a very typical present for I don't know a jubilee anniversary or marriage marriages many people could have like get five or carpets as presents and so this is a fun fact about this car they decorate it that way hope that the time when it is safe to travel to Ukraine will come soon and you will be able to discover lots of interesting places here and uh, maybe one day I will also be able to record you more v videos about traveling around Ukraine and discovering things uh, trying food, uh, listening to music, I don't know, whatever. But I do think that Ukraine has a great tourist potential, even if it will be a war uh, potential, because there are lots of things worth seeing and understanding understanding the reality also I was invited to participate in one auction where you can buy coffee with me not coffee for me but coffee with me in our case in online format please let me know if you're interested in that then I can uh, leave a link in our community or below one of my next videos and you can participate in that auction and if you buy coffee with me uh, but it's only on Facebook uh, we will have a zoom and we will discuss the things you want to know more about me Ukraine or whatever once again thank you for watching please uh, support my videos if you like them like them learn more about our new project Soviet Miss Debanked it has a separate video uh, list um, I'm very grateful for each new subscriber because I believe the world needs to know more about Ukraine Thank you for supporting my ideas morally and financially by buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. Slava Ukrainia!